Hi Virgo, welcome to your Week Ahead Taroscope with me, Raphael from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining me. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share, and if you should so choose and it resonates, hit that subscribe button. If you are already a continued subby, you know I love you for it. With that said, if you would like to book a personal reading with me, you can do so on the website address below. And before we start, as always, I would like to bless my deck of cards with all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity, and abundance. And I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise, and they help you on your path to your highest vibrational good. So let's have a look, see what the week ahead has in store for you. But before we go into that, your key to the week this week is the High Priestess. All of those hidden things are about to be revealed. Whatever pieces of the puzzle that you didn't have, whatever bits of knowledge or information you wanted but didn't feel like you had access to, this week they all come, you know, they all come to the surface, right? All things will be revealed. Your ruler is currently now direct and uh, is, you know, moving through the sign of uh, cancer again, but gaining speed to really start firing through the place. Now, with that said, <clears throat> your high priestess isn't just about, um, you know, your, uh, you know, hidden things revealed or hidden, uh, you know, moments or pieces of the puzzle coming to the fore. This is all also about your personal intuition. And it may very well be that intuition that fills in the gaps this week. So whatever it is that you want to know, whatever it is that you need to know, this week it may very well come to you through your intuition. It's kind of like your intuition is going to say this is what it is or this is what you need to know. And then the event itself will back it up with the facts, right? Because And this is the thing, it's, it's hard with intuition because you can't say that it's a fact you just know what you know right and this week I feel like there's going to be something that is revealed to you but you will have it confirmed out there in the real world so this is really exciting I'm so so excited for you guys I love the high priestess card it's one of my favorites um, and the reason being is because this is where you get to know right this is where you get the truth <laughs> <laughs> um, for your actions and options this week you have the uh, knight of swords so here's the thing the information and the knowledge that you want or that you've been seeking is making its way to you. However, you can't just charge off into the distance and say, right, now that I know what I know and it's been confirmed, I'm just gonna go on and you know, I'm just gonna tear out of the gate. This is a week where you need to be strategic. And that's one of the things that people don't necessarily associate with Virgo, but you guys can be very strategic when you need to because you love that sort of structure, you know, like that sort of way of doing things. Whereas this week you might feel that sort of, right, that's it, fuck it, I'm, you know, Mars square, Mercury, you, you might feel that energy this week where you just have to say something or you feel to react to something really strongly. My advice to you with the Knight of Swords, I always say to people, try to hold on to what you know for, you know, for however long you know it and then think about a strategy to put that into, to, to build something around it, right? Put the whole thing into context, because if you charge off on just what you, you know, that one piece of the puzzle, you might not necessarily have all of it, you'll just have how you feel about it. So it's really important this week that you, whatever information or knowledge you have confirming something, just take your time. Don't jump straight in at the deep end, all right? So for your communications and conversations, you have the Queen of Swords. So this would be an air sign woman, usually uh, a Gemini, an Aquarius, or a Libra. Now, the Queen of Swords, as a person, right, can be somebody that can be quite cantankerous. This could be somebody that you mint, you know, that doesn't mince their words. The thing that I always say about the the Queen of Swords is she's got a mouth like a sewer, but a heart full of gold. Like when she's pissed at you, you will know it because she will tell you straight. However, she's very fair. Like if if she, you know, she's the sort of person that will will cuss you out and say, right, this is what you did wrong, and and I'm going to let you have it. But this is where I could have maybe acted better or done something different. It looks like you're having a really frank discussion this week. It looks like there's going to be something that you're having a really, and it won't be a tough decision, it won't, won't be a tough conversation, it will just be a very frank conversation. Like this is you speaking your truth, this is you allowing somebody else to speak their truth, but this is about you also not backing down in or from your words. This is about you really standing by what you think, what you feel and how you show up. Um, and the fact that this is in your conversations, it just kind of, for me, it feels like there's a point that you have to get across. And you're like, you know what, whatever that may be, 
or whatever shape or form it takes, we need to hash this out and we need to hash it out now. For your money and materials, you have the Nine of Wands. So um, interestingly enough, this card is giving me a very Five of Pentacles energy. So what I wanna say to you is, this week be really careful with yourself. Be really careful with whatever part of you your business is linked to, be careful with it. So if you work in a shop, if you touch wood, um, yeah, if you trip and uh, bust your ankle, it's going to be really hard for you to stand on your feet, right? So sometimes this card and the Five of Pentacles can see you being out of pocket for the experience that you have. So, you know, this could be where you have an accident, where you trip over something. You know, if you work with your hands like I do, type in or you work with your voice, maybe you lose your voice this week. In fact, those three together could definitely spell that. This is a week for you to be really, really cautious of how you use your, your voice. If you have to have those loud conversations, have them, but be sure to nurture and nourish your throat. Um, and, you know, if you work with your hands, you, you know, if you shut your fucking fingers in the door, like, oh my gosh, do you know what I mean? You're, it's gonna be a while before you're typing at full speed again. So this is a week, whatever it is that you use in your person, be careful not to damage it because the chances are it will put you out of pocket, all right? So finances, just look out for this week. When it comes to your uh, physical health, talked about that throat, when it comes to the home, this is interesting because it looks like somebody's coming to your home um, but it looks like you're chewing this person out. So <laughs> I don't know whether this is like an in-law or, um, you know, maybe a friend that you haven't seen for a while. It's like, you know, they come to visit and, you know, maybe they try to dominate the conversation and you kind of let them have it. It just feels for me like when it comes to the home, someone's coming to the home, but it's going to force you to defend your viewpoint in some way, shape or form. Uh, for your love and relation, <laughs> you've got the high priestess. So... <laughs> If you do have an in-law, or maybe you don't get on specifically with a mother or a parent figure, um, that could be a point of contention this week. It could also be as well that a family member, especially like a mother or a matriarchal kind of energy, so an aunt, uh, a mother, a grandmother, could, could say something to you or divulge something to you this week that either gives you a piece of the puzzle or um, tells you a secret. And it could be something that makes you go, wow, like I didn't know that about you. And it makes me see you in a different light. Not necessarily in a bad light, but just in a different light. Um, you know, sometimes when we find out that our, our elders have a past, it's a bit like, oh, okay, I don't really know what to do with that. <laughs> you know, so it could be a week for that. And if I'm honest, love and relations isn't just about your partner, it's also about your family. So there could be some sort of family secret that is revealed to you this week. It may be, for some of you, this is about who gets what after a certain person you know exits the world that could be something for those of you that are single um this is not a week for love i'm sorry to say but it isn't for those of you that are partnered um i kind of feel like your partner might want to say like oh honey calm down but i think they're going to think better of it i think this is going to be one of those weeks where because virgos aren't necessarily known for losing their temper um but when they do Ooh, that ain't pretty. So it kind of feels like one of those weeks where, and I don't feel like it will be a shouting match. I feel like this will just be you going, you know, just straight up laying the facts out. And if that hurts your feelings, well, you know what? Sorry, not sorry. Um, so yeah, it's going to be an interesting week for you guys, for sure. With that said, I wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff. Have a fantastic week. Let me know in the comments how it shapes up. Take care, and I'll see you soon.